Welcome to how to install Calamacus. In this video, you will see how to download Calamacus and install it on your computer. First, navigate to calamacusproject.org and click on the Downloads tab at the top of the window. Then click on the version of the Calamacus download that is currently featured, which in this case is the Calamacus.17 zip file. From here, all you need to do is click the .zip download in the middle of the screen and the file will begin downloading. Once the download is complete, unzip the file into a new folder and place that folder wherever you'd like. Now navigate to the Kalamakis directory. Once in the Kalamakis directory, there are a couple of files that need to be modified prior to installation. Open the Etsy directory and copy the file kalamakis-defaults.conf to a new file and rename it kalamakis.conf. Once you have renamed it, open the file in a text editor. Inside the text editor, edit the appropriate lines to match the desired settings for your system. The default port of 8080, the default origin of localhost colon 8080, and the default repository of repositories slash Kalamakis are sufficient for running the server locally. Next, edit the lines regarding the initial user account for Kalamakis. You must enter a full name, which will serve as the display name within Kalamakis, your email, which will be used for mail functions within Kalamakis, and your username, which will be used for logging into Kalamakis. Once you have completed these steps, save the file. For Kalamakis to be able to send email invitations to users, and properly reset forgotten passwords, we must also set up a mail.properties file within the Etsy directory. Navigate to the Etsy directory and create a file called mail.properties with a text editor. We have already created it to save time. To configure this for an SMTPS server, this file must contain the following lines. mail.transport.protocol, mail.from, the host, the port, authentication, a user, and password. Remember to edit the values of these settings to match your personal mail setup. If this file does not exist or is not properly configured, Kalamakis will not be able to perform any functions involving email. Now that all of your files are properly configured, you can run the setup script. To run the setup script, once you're inside the Kalamakis directory, navigate to the bin directory. From here, right-click on kalamakis-setup.sh, click on Open With, and choose Other. From here, scroll down to the Utilities folder, select Terminal, and hit Open. The setup script will prompt you to enter a password for your initial user account. Please key this in carefully and hit enter. Once the setup script has finished running, Kalamakis has successfully been installed. To start the server, open the bin directory and right-click on kalamakis-start.sh. From here, we'll follow the same process we did for the setup script, eventually opening the script using Terminal.
Once that command has finished executing, the server is running. The web interface can now be accessed by typing the origin specified during installation into the address bar of a web browser. In this case, type http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 into your address bar, and a web interface appears to let you know that Kalamakis has been installed. To learn more about Kalamakis, get help, or simply share your experience, please check out kalamakisproject.org. Thank you for downloading and installing Kalamakis, and good luck.